this is what we call party in the picture. And you could do this at home. You could just roll out some old wallpaper lining and tape it together. Or you can use old sheets. But be careful to ask an adult first before you take the sheets off the bed or I'll get into trouble. It's great fun. can make her dress really beautiful and some glitter a bit of yeah put a little bit of this on how about some pink glitter get me some pink glitter so we're laying things on we're making her dress really beautiful and then we're layering it and we're putting some more glitter on here look glitter glue it's starting to look really magical isn't it and we're turning it into the most beautiful 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 dress for the mermaid So it's a really great idea actually to use a kitchen roll or a loo roll, dip it in some paint and then blob, blob, make some fantastic bubbles. When you're using tubes and paint, press quite hard or make it faint. Right, we're going to make a flower for our mermaid's head, just on her hair. Now this is how we do it. Get some tissue circles. One, two, three, four, five. Put them all together, fold them in half, staple them just in the middle there. Oh, watch out at home, stapling them. Don't want to staple our fingers together, do we? And open them out into the centre and then pinch each tissue circle. You pinch it. There we go, pinch, pinch, pinch. Pinch, 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 pinch. And a little bit of glue, some glitter, and then we have a beautiful, lovely rose to stick on the mermaid's head. Wow, what's going on here? What are you making? I've just finished my fish hat. Fish hat? It doesn't look like a fish hat, it looks like a cut out cardboard fish. Well, I cut it out. Yeah. And then I finished it off and I made another one. Another one? And how did you get them together? Um, someone stapled them for me. Yes, and someone then, stapled them, they're brilliant, it's brilliant. And then... Yes! For our party, for our fish yeah. party. Oh, fantastic. Why did the lobster blush? Because the seaweed... <laughs> I'll mix some glue and white to make pale blue. How much um, paint do you tip in? I suppose that, what, does that depend on how pale you want it, yeah? And then you can mix it. Oh, that's wonderful. It's a really good idea, actually, to have lots of different shades of blue when you're doing an undersea picture. And you can, you, we can dab blue on with a paintbrush and then paler blue. Are you making it darker? Yeah. Paler blue. And then, I tell you what's brilliant fun, you get a decorator's brush and a decorator's tray, roll a bit of this lovely bluey purple onto the, onto the brush and then look at this, this is my favourite part. I'm going to roll at this part of the sea. And it's really quick. I can do it really, really quickly. That's great fun. Okay everyone, I think we've finished now. So this is an absolutely brilliant party in the picture. So everyone get your paint brushes and pots and off we go. Let's have a look at our work. It was really fun, wasn't it? We've just about cleaned ourselves up from the party in the picture.